everybody and welcome to Flock Talk. Today we're going to be doing a video on a bit of a recipe that I used to get my birds to start eating their vegetables. As some of you may know, my little parrotlet Mia, she really struggled with starting to eat her vegetables. When I first got her, she actually had liver disease because she had been fed nothing but seed her entire life. And I've had a lot of you guys asking the same questions, wanting to know how you can get your birds to eat better how you can get deep pellets and vegetables and how you can introduce these new foods into their lives. So I figured I'd show you guys the recipe that ended up working for Mia, who I swear is the pickiest bird in the world. And hopefully that's something that will help you guys be able to get your birds eating their vegetables and getting on to the, a healthier lifestyle. So what we're going to be making today is sweet potato balls that we're basically mixing a bunch of vegetables in. So you're gonna start by boiling a great big old pot of water to cook your sweet potatoes in. While it's boiling, I usually start chopping up the sweet potatoes, um, just cause I find it's better timing wise and they can be cooking while I'm cutting up everything else. So you're gonna take your big old sweet potato or yam or whatever makes you happy, and you're just gonna peel all the skin off of it. The skin's gonna have a lot of dirt and a lot of grime and birds just really shouldn't be eating it. So you're gonna peel it all off till you have a nice whole clean sweet potato. And once you've got that, you're gonna chop the ends off and toss them aside and start slicing it into even pieces. You can make them kind of as thick as you want. I usually aim for about half an inch or so. Uh, it just makes it so that way they cook a little more evenly and uh, so you're not having some that are still solid and raw in the middle and some that are super squishy. So the more even and consistent you can make them, the better it's gonna be for you in the long run. Um, I'm using sweet potato just because it's very healthy. It's got a lot of vitamin A and stuff in it, which is great for their feathers. Um, and I just find that a lot of birds really like the way that it tastes. And it's not the least healthy starch in the world for them. So it's a good way to get birds who don't like vegetables to want to try them. So once you've got your sweet potatoes all nice and chopped up, I usually find it takes me long enough where my water is now boiling. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and toss all of your sweet potato in at once uh, into your boiling water. If it's not boiling yet, don't worry about it. You can start chopping up some of your other ingredients while the water rises and when you see it's boiling, just chuck your sweet potatoes in. It is not an exact science. So next I'm gonna do about one cup of spinach. You can use whatever green that you like, whatever greens that your birds may already be liking or showing an interest in. I just went for spinach because it's one that Mia really likes and she's the picky bird. So I'm gonna take that, chop it all up, try and stop Newt from stealing every vegetable off my plate and make them as fine as possible. If you have a bird that really doesn't like vegetables, you're gonna wanna make all these pieces as fine as possible. Um, just so that way when they're trying to pick through the sweet potato ball, they're kind of forced to have to taste a little bit of everything. It's the bigger you make them, the uh, more likely it is that they're just gonna pick through and leave everything behind. If you want, you can basically throw this all in a blender and puree it and you'll end up with basically the same thing, but they'll have to taste everything. Uh, so next up I've got a bell pepper and I find that they're quite watery so once I've chopped all my bell pepper up I'm actually going to dab them with a paper towel to remove some of that moisture. You're going to want about half a cup of it. It's up to you. You can use more or less like really I'm just showing you what I've used. You don't have to do the exact same thing. Um, I've done about half a cup of kale the same way and then I'm going to do a carrot uh, just to kind of give them a little bit more vitamin A. You want to have about two to three different greens, two to three different orange and red vegetables, and two to three reds and purples, just to give them a lot of variety, a lot of option, and cover all those nutritional bases. So I've already got a bell pepper, so my next red slash orange is going to be a carrot here, so that I'm doing about a quarter a cup of. Um, I'm going to add another green, I'm going to add broccoli. Broccoli is a really good one for birds that are very picky with their vegetables because it's already like a bunch of tiny seeds. So you may find that birds will take to it a little bit easier. So personally I just take a little knife and I just slice the tops off. I'm not being exact with how much I'm using, I just know it's one that my birds like. And it's going to spread nicely in the sweet potato balls into a bunch of tiny, tiny little seed-like shapes that's going to encourage them to eat it. Um, turnip is one of Newt's favorites, so I'm going to peel that just like we've done everything else and chop that up nice and fine as well. Um, I'm making this one a little bit smaller than everything else just because Mia doesn't seem to be tasting it as, as often. So I'm going to do a quarter cup of really fine pieces, so it's going to encourage Mia to try it. Uh, these next ingredients are completely optional. I'm doing bee pollen. Uh, I've done it just because it's a little bit of a different flavor and it's got antioxidants and stuff and some shredded coconut as well. It's about a tablespoon of each of those. 
Now Newt has pretty low calcium, so I'm grinding up a cuddle bone here. You don't have to, but if your bird isn't eating vegetables and you find that their beak is a little flaky, grinding up some cuddle bone or another calcium supplemented, uh, recommended by your vet uh, is a pretty good option. So I'm gonna pre-mix all of these ingredients. Uh, I've just got a small bowl with everything that I've chopped up, and I'm just kind of lightly mixing it so it's all evenly distributed. When you throw it in the sweet potatoes and they're soft and squishy and good to go, um, sometimes the ingredients can get stuck and they just don't mix as well if you don't mix them beforehand. So you'll know your sweet potato is ready when a fork is basically sliding right into it effortlessly. You don't want to be using much force at all. You're just going to strain all that out so you've got some nice cooked sweet potatoes with no water, no added moisture. You could even dab it with a paper towel again if you wanted to, if you find that your mashed potato mixture is coming out a little too mushy. Um, if you have a potato masher, go for it, mash away. If you've got a blender, toss it in. Do what you want. I just used a fork, squished it up nice and fine, and I'm gonna toss all the vegetables into one big bowl and give it all a very thorough stir. You want everything to be as evenly distributed as possible because you're only gonna be giving them a small portion of this a day, so it's gonna help kind of give them a little bit of everything in each bite. Now, as I've said, my birds are pretty, pretty small, so I just use an ice cube tray. It's got silicone backings to them, so you can pop them out nice and easy. And I find that these are just a really good portion. It's about one to two tablespoons, I'd say, fit in these. Uh, so it's a good portion for me just to be able to pop them out of the freezer and thaw them and give it to the birds each morning. Makes it nice and easy. If you've got bigger birds, you'll be able to give them a little bit bigger. Um, but I just pop an ice cube out into a tray. And as you can see here, Newt dives right in trying to eat every last ounce of sweet potato he can. And he'll kind of pick through and pick what he likes, picks what he doesn't. Uh, like I've said, if your birds are more picky, Blending the ingredients a little finer stops them from doing that. So that's going to about do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will give this recipe a try and your birds will love it just as much as mine do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!